y'all, I'm back today. This is Lucy, and I'm going to show you how to make this bat wing house. Um, the sides of the roof are kind of made to mimic bat wings. So it's another Halloween house. I'm going to show you how to construct it. But I'm also going to use these little lights, these miniature LED lights called Tiny Lights. These are from Tim Holtz, but you can find other brands, I'm sure. And I'm going to show you how to add that to the back of each window so that each window lights up. I think that'll be fun. It's a little bit challenging, but I made, I made a base where the control part fits in the bottom. And, and then I'm gonna give some extra room so I can move stuff around. And I'm gonna just kind of temporarily tape it to the back and then use some hot glue to adhere the wire to the house itself. Um, this is the house and I did it a little different. I did use um, a stamp, a Stampers Anonymous stamp to, um, to add the spider web, but I embossed it with a translucent, um, translucent embossing powder. And I really like the effect. I think it shows up better. This one is just stamped with a white ink which doesn't show up as much, but this one, it's got a little shine to it. And that's one reason I did silver windows. Okay, so we know that the lot, oh, and I, I construct my house and I paint it before because I'm such a messy painter. So I always paint it before I construct it, before I glue everything together. It's just easier for me. You do not have to do that. Okay, so first, Let's make sure we got enough. We got some play. So, and oh, another thing about the windows, the windows are, it's just adhesive. It's just acetate that, um, that I cut off from some packaging and then I stained it with an alcohol ink. I like that. And I glue it to my house with glossy accents with this particular glue because it dries really fast, but it also makes them, the windows translucent. So they're not as transparent. So you don't actually see the light bulb as dramatically when it's underneath the, um, when it's behind the window. So what I'm gonna do is temporarily tape down the light when I have it situated the way I want. And then I'll get a little blob of hot glue to adhere to the wire, not to the light itself, but the wire. Uh, Tim Holt says if you add glue to the light bulb, it will it will mess it and mess it up. So let's just get one here. I'm starting at the bottom because the lights are going to come in from the bottom. And I'm just going to kind of bend the wire so that the lights are where I want them. I kind of played around with the placement and I think with my, with the fact that I've um, made the window material translucent, I think that it'll look good with the light bulb, you know, directly behind each window. Okay, now we need one more light to go behind this, the tall window in the front. Going to tape it in place. Okay, now what to do with the excess lights? Tim Holtz always says you can cut them off. I, I just, just have trouble with that. So I'm just gonna kind of fold them up and they'll be within the house. So let's check it out. Let's turn on the light. Let's flip it over. And it's hard to see with the lights 
but I, I think it's gonna look good. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the glue gun and I'm gonna glue the individual lights so that the strand will be in place. Okay, I'm gonna take off the tape a little bit at a time and just do a little blob of glue on the wire. Try to keep it so it won't move. Okay, that one. Got a little glue there. Try not to glue the tape in so that the tape is stuck. That one. A little glue there. Sorry. That's one reason I don't work with glue guns very often. I like my regular white glue. That's my favorite. Okay. Let's see what we can do next. Check and make sure I haven't ruined anything. Yep, they still work. Little blob there. Blob here. Okay, we've almost got it. Okay, so that is, it's not the prettiest, but I believe it has my lights in place. Let's check them again. Yes, all of them are working. And like I said, I'm going to just, rather than snip off all these lights, I'm just gonna kinda twirl them so that they'll be inside the house, still providing some light. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Already to assemble the house, I usually make my patterns for, for this size house so that there's just one piece and, and one main glue tab on the side. My favorite glue, Fast Grab. So, tacky glue, it's Fast Grab Tacky Glue. So we glue along this tab. And to hold it in place, line it up. And it's especially important that the bottom piece aligns properly going to, there we go, adhere it there, and then I reinforce it with a little bit of painter's tape. Okay, so that is the outside. That's the main structure, and then to make the the wing, the space for the wings, I'm going to glue the, these are called roof flaps. They keep the house square. I'm gonna glue these roof tabs to the roof, uh, roof flaps.
and this helps the bat wings and the roof adhere much better so painters tape to the rescue once again it'd help a lot if I could quit sticking my finger in the glue but Apparently that's not possible. Okay, so there's the shape of our house and I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll show you how to put the wings on. All right, so now that the roof flaps are glued to the roof tabs, I can show you how to glue on the roof. This is the main part of the roof, and it goes like this. And then, once this is adhered, we'll put the bat wings on. Let me put them on the right way. So, anyway, so first we're gonna glue on this, can, this kind of, sort of a bat wing shape roof. And, once again, my favorite glue, Fast Grab Tacky Glue. And once again, I probably use too much, but I like things to be secure. The roof piece is designed to have about a quarter inch overhang in both the front and the back. And I painted the underside so the part that's visible will be dark too so let me squish that in place slide it forward that looks about right and once again tape now i'm going to paint over this because i want the bat wings to be shiny i don't know if bat wings are really shiny but that's the way i think of them so i'm going to paint over like this little this part that opened up when I folded it. So I'm going to repaint that. And then once, once this is dry, I'm sorry, I got a hair in there. Once this is dry, I will adhere the bat wings. They're, um, it's cardboard. It's two layers of cardboard covered with, um, I, I put some string in just to act like the, the bones of the bat wing and then covered it with tissue paper and I used the tissue paper as a flap to adhere to the roof. So let's let this roof piece dry and then we'll apply the bat wings. Okay, now that the roof piece is glued on, let's take off the painter's tape. All right, now let's glue on the wings. And like I said, there were, this is um, tissue paper that just helps glue it on. So, using my nice thick fast grab glue. Make sure you have the wings pointed correctly. So the, this kind of arch, this little peak should go in the front. That's kind of, that's vaguely the shape of a, a bat wing. Okay, line it up with the roof. And there it is. And I'm gonna repaint it and I'll kind of I can actually, if I want to, I can put a little piece of tissue paper there where it kind of tore. And I'll repaint it because I want the wings to be shiny and kind of leathery looking. Let's get the other one on. This fast grab tacky glue is very thick, which is one reason I like it, but it can be hard to get out of the 
container. So I often, ah, shoot, that's why you wait. I always store it upside down. Because it is so thick. There is another one that's very good. It is the quick dry. It's it's also thick, but not nearly as much. So if you want to if you if you struggle with a really thick glue. Okay, now I can use painter's tape or I can just hold it and we'll let this dry. Okay, now that the bat wings are almost dry, there's a little bit of glue drying, but I think it looks good and I'm going to add it to the base. Now, one thing I did in this design was I made the wings smaller and I think I'm going to expand them in the pattern so the pattern will have this come out further and I'll make sure that the this arch doesn't interfere with the end window because I like how the wing frames the window on this one so the pattern will be slightly different for you all right so now we're going to glue it to the base now one thing one problem is the base is a little bit rough you know it's um crumpled brown packing paper on top of cardboard. So, so the house, when you glue it on, leaves a little bit of a gap. And so, especially, well, you can't see it now, but with the lights on, sometimes you see the light escape from the base of the house. So I'm gonna get over that by doing, I'm gonna add some moss, some moss I gathered and I'm gonna add a little bit of texture paste and grit paste to the bottom, but I'll do that once the house is situated. Turn the little lights off. So I'm gonna use my good glue, my strongest glue, Fast Grab, but again, you can use Quick Dry if you find the Fast Grab difficult, like it is. There, and I put a big bead of glue at the bottom. This is one place where I think it's important to add enough glue, to add a lot of glue. If you're making a, ho a Christmas house, you can add snow on the outside to stop that lat light leakage. Now, that also helps adhere your little house to the um, to the base. Okay, let's get our light thing out of the way. And I left lots of extra wire. Alrighty, so let's situate it and press down. Oh, actually, I want it over a little bit because I'm going to add. A twisted tree like this. I'm going to add a twisted tree and some tombstones on the side. So let's see, wipe up a little. Actually, let's just start adding some moss. And this is just moss I gathered from my yard. Well, really, it was a neighbor's yard. I don't think they'll miss their moss. And I'm going to put a little stepping stone in the front, which I haven't made yet. So anyway, that's how you construct the actual house and adhere it to the base. And I will show the finished product with all the embellishments on my blog, paperglitterglue.com. And I'm Lucy, and thank you for joining me. And I hope you have fun. Let me try to lift this so you can see. I hope you have fun making a bat wing house for Halloween. Alrighty, y'all have a good day. Bye.